Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to talk about the on change callback feature. So what does the on change callback feature do? Well, it executes an event when a variable is changed. I have this scene file with a blueprint called BP underscore chatute. If you want to know how I created this blueprint, the link is on the top right of the screen. Just check the tutorial first and then come back to this one. So this blueprint, if we just open it. In the last tutorial, we talked about the ZD function component which is this one. You can check that tutorial. The link is on the top right corner as well. Now we are going to talk about the light color. So first let's understand what this blueprint is doing. I have this custom event called light color switch. I have the point light over here from which I have dragged out a pin and set the light color. And I have a variable called new light color which is plugged into new light color. I have a function called light color if I double click and open it. I have this function called a light color and I have connected it to the custom event called light color switch. I have connected the light color function to the light color switch. Let's go back to the viewport, click play and if I go to reality hub, I can see my BP chair node here. In the properties, I have the variable called new light color. So if I want to change color right now, what, what I do is I just click on this, select a color go to functions and click on light color. The light changes only when I come to function and click on light color. Let's do it again. Select another color, a blue color, go to functions, click on light color and it changes. Now, what if I want the light color to change as soon as I select a different color over here. I want this to update real time without me having to go back to function and clicking on light color. I want it to change right from here. So how do we do that? For this, we use the on change callback feature. Let me just show you how this is done. Let's go back to our blueprint. So this is our blueprint for the light color. We do not need this function right now. I'll just delete the light color function. So I only have these blueprint right now. This is not connected to any functions at the moment. If I compile and hit play, in the functions, I cannot see the light color function because I have just deleted it. I can see this variable which is here. I want the colors to change as soon as I pick a different color. How do we do that? Let's go back to the blueprint. Let's disconnect this custom event. We don't need this. I'll just delete it. Now let's create the on change callback event. Right click, add a custom event. Now call this custom event on change underscore and the variable name of this variable. I will just select it, copy the name, control C, and go back to my custom event, rename, and at the end, I'll just put this name over here and connect it to this pin. Remember the O and C has to be in uppercase. So in this custom event, what's happening is we are saying that when the value of this variable is changed, I want this event to be executed. Just remember that this is case sensitive. So when you type on change, just make sure that this is how it looks exactly. Also, the variable has to be public. This is it. We don't have to add it to another function or anything else. Let's compile, hit save. Let's go to a viewport and just hit play. Back in hub, when I select my node, it looks exactly the same as before. The only difference now is that when I change the color over here, I can see it update immediately. I don't have to select a color, go to function, click on light color. Now you can directly change the color from here. So this was a very short tutorial about the on change callback feature. If you like my tutorials, please do consider subscribing to my channel. Like this video, leave your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next one.